Hello everyone, welcome, it's Marek Molarczyk and welcome to another episode of a series of videos here and this time for a change we actually do in After Effects. I've done quite a few uh, Premiere uh, videos recently, so now it's After Effects for a change. And in this video I want to show with you some techniques for some interesting features in the info panel and probably underestimated panel inside Adobe After Effects. So you normally find your info panel here in the top right corner of your screen. It's normally there by default in your default workspace. And normally it's the only one that's visible. So I can just collapse this so we can focus just on the info panel here. First, feature number one. As you move the cursor over your composition, inside the info panel you can get the color value or that's underneath your cursor. You can also get the opacity value, so the RGBA in the info panel. RGB is the color value. At the moment I'm getting white because it's 255 for all of them. And you can see the white color swatch in the info panel. But also alpha says 128. So alpha is actually, it's actually 50%. Because the values range from 0 to 255. So I've got 50% white color on this uh, shape, on this rectangle here. And it's also the X and Y coordinates here in the info panel. So you can see uh, you can see the position of your cursor and you've got X and Y position from the top left corner of your screen in here. Okay, uh, tip number two. This one will be more useful. This is one of the reasons why I keep info panel open in my After Effects all the time. When you play animations, you can see the info panel if it's playing in real time. So it says, in real time, 24 frames per second. You can also see how many frames have loaded into RAM memory. So I've got playing from RAM, 132 of 132 in here. <coughs> Just to mention in here as well, <coughs> if you get in lower number, for example, it might be because you may have shortened your work area. So if I just stop it here, if I zoom out in the timeline, so I've got five and a half seconds at the moment. So it's saying 132. Okay, if I expand my work area to the entire comp, now it's saying 168. If I shorten the work area again to say 4 seconds, for example, and play it, it's 96. Hmm. This actually has to do with my settings where in the uh, preview panel, so I've got window and preview, I've actually changed in the preview panel, so uh, so, yeah. so it's actually playing just my work area here. It's normally set to work area extended by current time, but I changed it to work area, so it's only playing to work area, and that's why it's playing fewer number of frames in here. Okay, so very useful feature with the uh, info panel. Okay, now here's another one. So feature number three, using info panel. If you, so if you have keyframes on your timeline and you want to check the space between the keyframes, how many frames, how many seconds you have in there, now what you can actually do is you can actually use the info panel for that. What you need to do is you need to select uh, two keyframes in quick succession using Alt key, Option key on the Mac. So if I click on this one and that one, okay, oh, hold on, this one and this one here, it, it was showing the space between the, it says duration between the keyframes one second. Also tells you information about the keyframe interpolation as well. So this could actually be uh, tip number four. This shows you a keyframe interpolation. I've got the Bezier interpolation on this keyframe here. Another interesting feature of the info panel, just some reasons why the info panel may be useful in here where you use it. Um, so this is just a quick uh, tutorial this time, just about the info panel in here. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments down there. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in another video uh, soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.